everyone. Welcome to my channel Study at Ease. Today we are going to study the topic Trapezoid. Well, what is a trapezoid? Trapezoid, which is otherwise called as a trapezium, it's other name for trapezoid. Now, it is a quadrilateral which has four sides. And let's have a look at the picture. Now, in this picture, it has four sides. And if you clearly observe, you can see that the two sides are parallel. It is indicated with this pink arrows. Can you see? These two parallel sides in the trapezoid are called as the base. Uh, well, to write that, let us name this trapezoid. Now, it's A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now, A, B, and C, D are called as the base of this trapezoid. Now, look at the non-parallel sides. You can see the non-parallel sides A, D, and B, C. Now, this AD and BC are called as the legs. That means the non-parallel sides of the trapezium or the trapezoid is called as the legs. So far, we were discussing about the sides of a trapezoid. Now, let's have a look at the angles. It has four angles. Now, angle A and angle B, they form a pair of base angles. And angle C and angle D they form another pair of base angles. So, we saw what is a trapezoid. It's parts like the base, the legs, and the angle pairs. Uh, let's look deeper into the legs. Well, the legs in a trapezoid, uh, it's not necessary that the legs have to be equal. But, if the legs are equal in a trapezoid, then it has a special name. It's called as the isosceles trapezoid. These isosceles trapezoids do have some specific properties. Let's look deeper into the properties of an isosceles trapezoid. The first property says that the base angles, that is angle A and angle B, will be equal to each other. Similarly, the other pair of base angles, that is angle C and angle D, will also be equal to each other. The second property. The second property of the isosceles trapezoid is that, now if you look at this picture, you can see that the two diagonals drawn, diagonal AC and BD. Now these two diagonals will be equal to each other. That means they are congruent. Now, let us look at the last property. The last property is the mid-segment property. Now, what is this mid-segment property? Now, as you look at this picture, you can see that I have drawn a line in the middle. Now, this line intersects both the legs AD and BC. Now, this line also divides both the legs into equal parts. Now, according to this property, if there is a line in the middle, which is parallel to both the bases and it bisects both the sides, that means both the legs, then you can find the length of this line by using the formula. Suppose if I name this line as EF, then the formula is EF is equal to half multiplied by the sum of both the bases. So in this case, it is EF is equal to half times AB plus CD. So friends, I hope this topic is clear to you. If you have any doubts or you want any more explanation, please put your valuable comments in the comment section. Or if you want me to explain any other topic, do mention that as well. Now, I hope everybody liked my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and take care. Bye.